Hello everyone and welcome to the Bibliography Assignment Overview video. In this assignment we are going to keep working with the three sources that you found in your research log in order to create a small bibliography. We are also going to continue our evaluation. In the research log you decided which source was best in terms of relevance. In the bibliography you're more going to evaluate based on the quality of the information each source has. Because you are creating this bibliography based on the resources you found in the research log, you should have a citation for a book or ebook, a periodical article, and a web page or e-resource. Your citations should follow MLA 8th edition formatting. You can use any citation tool or appropriate book to help you. I have two suggestions here in the assignment. The first is the Citing Resources Guide, and the other is the Owl at Purdue Guide. For each source, you will also be asked to evaluate various aspects that illustrate the quality of the information. You will then explain these aspects in a paragraph. Your evaluation paragraphs should primarily be your own words, but you can quote or paraphrase if necessary. If you quote or paraphrase, then you need to provide an in-text citation. We didn't formally discuss this, so I have a small example here in the assignment. For each part, you are going to be working with one of your three resources that you found previously. For example, part one is the book or ebook. That means each step that follows will be about your book or ebook. First, you will cite the book. Then, you need to evaluate it. In a comprehensive paragraph, evaluate the quality of your source. Your paragraph should fully explain your reasoning and support your statements with evidence. It must also discuss each of the following areas, at least two accord criteria other than relevance, and popular or scholarly source characteristics. What we're looking at here is applying the evaluation skills from Unit 2. You can look back at the Accord and Popular and Scholarly readings to help you with this portion of the assignment. Your paragraph should include which two Accord criteria you're evaluating, how they appear in the source, and whether they are strong or weak. The reason that we are not going to use relevance is that we talked about relevance in the research log. You can use any two of the remaining four accord criteria that you prefer. With the popular and scholarly source characteristics, you should be able to tell me if your source is popular or scholarly and why. As with all evaluation, your logic, reasoning, and supporting evidence are crucial here. Part two is all about your periodical article. You'll notice that the steps are largely the same. First, cite the periodical article. Then, list the permalink or URL for your article. If you found your article in a database, then you will need to use the permalink tool to give me the permalink. If you found your article via a search engine, then you need to provide the URL. Then, you are going to evaluate it. Just like with the book or ebook, this evaluation should include two accord criteria other than relevance and popular or scholarly characteristics. Part 3 is going to be everything about your web page or e-resource. Cite the web page or e-resource, list the URL, then evaluate it. As with the previous two sections, this evaluation paragraph should contain at least two accord criteria other than relevance and popular or scholarly characteristics. This bibliography is asking you to expand your evaluation skills and to find your citations. So this is more the kind of thing you do at the end of a project rather than at the beginning. I hope that you find this video helpful. If I can be of any further help, please don't hesitate to contact me. Have a good day, and I'll see you in the next video.